is really. Set this there, set my volume good. It all looks pretty fine to me, actually. Hey, <clears throat> I must go take a sip here. I like the music on the tile screen. Anyways, we're gonna close it, and then we're gonna launch it up again. And we're gonna get started. Everyone ready? I'm ready. Let's see how this goes down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's kick into good old streaming recording mode. Hey everyone, this is Duskomaka Aesthetic Gamer, and I guess do not watch this video if you're pregnant. What's wrong with me? Now, obviously, I'm pregnant, so I shouldn't be playing this, but we're going to live life on the edge a little bit and see what happens. Raven's Court, and this is actually made by the same people that made the game known as Pine View Drive I played a couple years ago. I don't know if this series will be uploaded before or after I upload Pine View Drive, but just know I played Pine View Drive years before I played this game. Made by the same people, I only found that out recently, actually. I know next to nothing about this game outside of that. I know that looks like it took place in a theme park in one of the first screenshots on the Steam page. This was an impression I had when I bought it a few weeks ago. I know that apparently it's gained a lot more positive reception than Pineview Drive did. I liked Pineview Drive, even though I had some problems with it, but a lot of people were less receptible to it than I was, so yeah, yeah. All this said and done, we're probably going to kick into this pretty much immediately. Let's go straight into New Game. Dear Sarah, you probably don't remember me. The last time we met, you had just celebrated your second birthday. Shortly afterwards, there was a big fight in the family, and your dad and I never spoke to This game. Again. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna restart this recording one more time. This game is unbelievably quiet. Like, it is insanely quiet. I'm gonna try something. Go into my settings here. I'm gonna boost the audio for you guys and boost it for myself. So, boost it up a little bit. Because this game is, for right now at least, maybe it gets a lot louder later, but this is unbelievably quiet. If you are reading this letter, that, that is much it better. means I lost the battle again. But I'm lost the battle against cancer. Oh dear. But I'm just saying, this game is currently unbelievably quiet, so I am turning it up. Let's wait there, set some things around, okay. There we go. Thankfully, you can boost audio on OBS easily enough. And the game was on full audio, I made sure it was on full audio in the settings, it just was insanely quiet. Move some stuff around, and yeah. I I like their company logo. A rabbit falling over with a creepy girl in the background works for me. Let's see. Yeah, it's volumes all the way up, so still though. Let's kick into it again after I try to make sure my personal volume is up. I was set up to 66, hopefully that's fine. Let's do it. Dear Sarah, you probably don't remember me. The last time we met, you had just celebrated your second birthday. Shortly afterwards, there was a big fight in the family, and your dad and I never spoke a word to each other again. It was only a few months ago, when I became terminally ill and then learned that your dad had passed away, that I began to realize I could never make right the wrongs of the past. If you are reading this letter, it means I lost the battle against cancer and will never see you again either. I cannot undo the fact that I was never there for you in my life. But I do want to make up the damage in some way, and so I have appointed you the sole heir of my entire property. 
It includes my old country house. I've enclosed the key to the estate with this letter. You'll find the key to the front door on the property, well hidden in an old vase. I hope that I can show you that, despite all that's happened, I always cared about the family. I wish you a long and happy life, and hope you enjoy my old estate as much as I did in my life. Your Uncle Arthur. Wait, my Uncle Arthur? Okay, so it was the female character reading this. That was like... What, wasn't it the mom talking? Okay, so it was like an uncle that was talking. I thought it was the mother talking because of the female voice. Anyways, we take the train in. Given that this may not be very good redemption on account that this is a horror game, so obviously whoever is at the estate probably isn't good for us. Okay, welcome to Obscuritis, or Edis, or Addis, whatever it is. So, is this, is this game of a day cycle? We are on your own. You're on your own in this game. Well, thank you for the text then telling me I'm on my own. With the current sayings, you'll receive hints and clues if you're stuck. Okay, so I can turn that off, I guess, if I want to. I can't go backwards. This to move, mouse to look, it seems very, very similar to um, the game which I was just talking about there, Pine View Drive, at least control-wise and graphically-wise, which I guess makes sense, maybe the same people. Not a bad thing in my stance. Let's move on ahead, we got a town to visit, which means let's go on our merry old way. Now I will make a small mention here, I'm wondering if we have a day, again, because I had this big issue when I first played uh, Pine View Drive, where I got stuck in the dark. I'm really hoping there's like a dynamic day-night system happening here. That will become night by a more scripted procedure so I don't like go into the dark without my flashlight and not being able to see Jack and shit. But yeah. I... But still, we're taking our merry old way. We got a key. We didn't get it. I, I noticed they pronounce it like Voss, but I always pronounce it like Vase. Is that even wrong? Have I been pronouncing it wrong all these years? That wouldn't be very surprising for me, but... It's something which I need to consider in these very real situations where a character challenges me to say something different. Anyways, we're arriving at the house of mine. A nice little spooky house in the woods. It actually looks kind of nice in the sort of gothic, creepy way of which I enjoy things. If I had a lot of money, I probably wouldn't live in the middle of the forest. It's not personally my lifestyle. But... Wow. The house is actually pretty dramatic. Like, it looks like a huge as hell gothic abode, I'll be honest. Press E on the left mouse when I pick up and use items. Yep, I know. I've got hints on. I would have figured it out. I actually really like the music in this game. The one both in the opening and the one that's playing here. Here we are at the old statue set. Can I jump? I can jump, but barely. This is, this is the most I'm going to get. Well, before it becomes nighttime, I should probably look inside the vase and get the key. This is like such an obvious place for the key. Is it not, is it not there? Is it, is it one of these? I'd like to find the key for the house before I get there. Yep, the door is locked. Um, jeez. You say it's in the vase, the Voss, but there's so many. Where do I begin? So, the house key, the house key. It's not on this one. 
Wow, that tree is incredibly gnarled. It looks like it's gonna fall over, given that's not big enough, I think, to really crash into the house. But it get very close if it decided to. There's even a little back area back here. Wow. Now, if I had inherited a house like this, my first thought would be like, oh boy, this is cool. But still, though. I know it's Voss, but I want to say, I'm just gonna say Vase. This might be so programmed in my head, if that's actually how you pr pronounce it normally, that I'm never going to be able to be unwrong about it. it goes over from there... Is this the Voss vase? I'm going to try. I'm going to challenge myself. Let's see... You know, this looks. This doesn't look like the same house that was available in Pineview Drive, but there are some similarities, including this wood back here with the axe in front of it. That is incredibly similar. Like, this pathway and other things are different. The one which was inside Pineview Drive was next to, like, an old... What was it? It was like a coastal place. There it is! Key! <laughs> that was actually a pretty nicely hidden key. If I was a thief, I wouldn't have first guessed that. They have enough bosses around. Though I guess if I was a thief, I would have taken all the bosses. Maybe they're worth something. I don't know. Sometimes they are. It's an open world out there. Just throw off a cliff, fuck those bosses up. Yeah, obviously. But we found it. Which means it's time for us to enter our new abode. I'm ready to go home. Let's see what our house looks like. It looks like a loading screen. <laughs> well, you know, I don't mind if I do. Let's see what's going on there. Now, in Pineview Drive, they had built... I, I'm sorry to keep on comparing this, it's just that's what I'm thinking of. If I didn't know this was made by the makers of Pineview Drive, I would have figured it out by now, because it feels a lot like that so far. Um, but they had stuff on the outside of the house that would later come into play. Maybe I'm stuck inside the house in this one, though, because the house is much bigger looking than it was there. Speaking about much bigger looking, yeah, it looks much bigger looking. So maybe this completely takes place inside our interior. So let's get a good feel for this. This is our new home. Gonna just job myself up and enjoy my new crib. Here with my clock, because I'm alone. Didn't come with anyone else. The music just transitioned into a horror song. Is that my dear old mother? Or my uncle? Maybe, again, I, I, I don't think I'm the uncle. I don't know. My legs and my arms look very feminine. I, can't, I think I'm the girl I saw at the opening. But yeah, I... How's it going, my statue friend? This is my new best friend. We're going to be living here. I'm going to try and... Actually, can we turn the lights on and off? Yes, we can. Look at those lights. I don't even care about the electricity bill for at least some period of time. I do not know. We really like this woman. She's in a lot of these pictures around the house. There she is. and That's not her. That's just a picture of our house inside our house. I never understood why people do that. Have a picture of the place we're inside right now inside the abode. And why is there now a bigger frame version of what was just over there? I'm questioning my uncle's, mother's, someone's artistic choices. I also assume that there might be matches or something to light these candles with. There was, again, a mechanic like that in, guess what? Pineview Drive. That's a different house. If you want to live in that house, why hang a picture up in your front lobby, though? Is that the same woman? It's kind of similar. Turn the lights off here. On, off, okay. The door is locked. Find the matching key. Well, let's do that then. I'm not saying that this is going to be its own set of challenges of key collecting. I'm just saying that it's kind of ridiculous our house has so many keys. <laughs> I can just imagine my uncle slash mom now. I hope you enjoy your new house, enjoy as much as I have. I just set you up on a key collecting adventure. <laughs> Is this door open? Okay, there we go. This one's open. This is probably where I'm supposed to go. On the bright side of the line looks fine. Let's go look. We've got keys to locate. Not opening up any drawers, though. I can see the outside world throughout my windows. It's almost like peeking into other realities. Alright. Lights on. My electricity bill is going to be a bitch at the end of this month. <laughs> There's a paper there I noticed, but I'm going to look around first. Now I'm going to read it first. There are certainly many things I've learned on my travels. One of them is the fact there are still many mysteries that science is unable to explain, even to this day. 
There are even things that only appear by the light of a flame. Uh oh. Here's why I say uh oh. That's a real time moving clock. Which implies that things are gonna get dark eventually. I should find the flashlight. Find the matching key. I'm sorry, I'm having flashbacks of it getting too dark and me not being able to see my way through hallways that were not lit up. Uh, but I need to find a key. But that was definitely a real time moving clock. Let me move. Oh, the first goddamn jump thing got me. Batteries! You need to find the flashlight. I haven't progressed with my work for days. Perhaps a change of scenery would help. High quality mirror textures going on there. Let's see. Hmm. It's pretty nice though. Even though it's kind of, you know, if I lived here, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all these pictures of this woman that's literally everywhere. Not within my taste. What? That didn't get me. I was just like, what? I guess a rat flashed me with a flashlight. Oh, speaking of that, that's a screwdriver. I thought that was a flashlight for a second. What was this? Okay, yep. Yep, this is reminding me a lot of Pineview Drive. Matches. I even brought that up earlier. We're we going to find matches to light the candles. You can use the matches to light candles. And there's batteries. But guess what I don't have? You already have ten matches. Turn the lights on. Ooh, that's pretty nice. What is this? A fancy tea kettle? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Going from there. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be locked, to be honest. Oh. Ghostly. If they don't make use of these creepy curtain-covered things that I even don't really know what they are, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. Because those actually are a bit creepy. I can imagine some good scares linked to them. What type of family do I come from? It looks like they were rich. Are those family emblem type things? That's what it looks like to me. But yeah. What is that reflecting in the shadow? Chandelier? Doesn't quite look like a chandelier shadow, but I guess it is. Oh, that's kind of cool. Do you see how the chains are reflected in different directions? Wow, it's actually a very nice shadow thing going on there. I don't think there's anything I need in here, though. At least no keys, no flashlight, etc., etc. Okay. So the pathway to go looks like it might be over here, which is why I'm going to take it. Now, I'm not going to waste all my matches yet. That got me. All right. Door is locked. Find a matching key. Well, let's do it. Key looking, key looking. This is one of my favorite tasks. Don't question me on this one either. So the door is closed after a certain period of time. That's probably useful to know. I don't think I can crouch. No, I can't crouch. I can jump ever so lightly, but it's literally the lightest jump. I can jump higher, way higher in real life than this girl can. Nothing there. Don't say anything outside the window. I've got matches and there's batteries, but no sign of a flashlight. Life is hard. Okay. So, firstly, was there really nothing in here? Oh. Well, something or another disappeared right there. And there's the key. Peekaboo. Key obtained. What do you think are under these sheets, though? Hmm. I don't know if I did like or dislike the flashing that happens when something occurs. I kind of wish that they didn't just do the flash. I'm hoping that they stop doing that after a certain period of time. Hmm. On to you curtain things. Let's move on our way. Now is this key for this door or another door? Okay, so it's not for that door evidently. There was another door that was locked inside one of these rooms. I think it was this one. I'm going to check wherever it was. Oh, wait. Is that the... No, those are batteries. I keep on thinking those batteries are actually just the flashlight. But alas, no such luck. Notably, the light's not working in this room specifically. 
Oh, here we go. This is where the key, I guess, went. Let's look. So there's obviously a key or something I need inside this room, because this is the first set of my key collecting adventures. As a horror protagonist, I have searched a many a keys in a many a rooms during my day heyday. Let's look at this uh, paper here. Hi, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> keys under I see it. you found the key to the house. I didn't want to make it too easy for you, so I've left some puzzles for you to solve. Use the puzzles to prove to me one last time that you are a worthy heir. It is my hope that you overcome these final obstacles. To solve them, always inspect the parts of the house very carefully. If you look closely, you're bound to discover what you need to do to get into the next part of the house. Good luck. Yep, Professor Layton may in fact be my uncle. You have inherited my house. Now prove that you're my heir. Solve my puzzles. This statue was not always there. I would have noticed that. See, this is where I can trust my sight of vision. Maybe it was always there and I'm just dumb, but I feel like I would have noticed this statue if it really was always there. Onto your goddamn games game. Anyways, let's look over here. Nope, not the right key to here. Well, we're inside a puzzle mansion. Let's see how that goes there. There's a few things the keys could lead to, so... Let's just take a solid look. I was thinking there was this uh, door back here. Is this where it's for? Yep, knew it. What's inside this back room? Well, oh. Well, a combination, but I don't even know where the combination would begin. Well, this is a tricky one. Uh, okay, so it's a three number combination. Hmm. The puzzles begin. So there's a three number combination. I could just sit here and guess all 999 combinations, but it's obviously not one of the clocks. The clocks have actually continued moving. Is there anything that sticks out as a detail? It could be on this. The globe, I haven't seen any other room, given that I can't even really see the details. I can tell where's what, but I can't read anything. Hmm. There's probably some clue somewhere. So let's look around for whatever hint we're searching for. I need to remember to turn on the lights more often in certain rooms, especially since it's probably going to get dark pretty soon. Given that I might have to just turn the lights on and off, on and off. <laughs> a little bit of a pun there. But yeah. I... It has to be something which would be an evident clue for me to pick up on. That or I'm just supposed to guess all 999 combinations. I'm onto you, goddamn statue. See, that didn't get me this time. Is the alarm set to a specific time? 10.20. Okay. Well, that might be it. If so, that's simpler than I was thinking. The way it couldn't be 10.20, there'd be four common numbers. 10.20. Yeah, there's no way. Unless, of course, it was like one, two, zero, but that doesn't make much sense either. So no, there's no way that could work because it's only three numbers. Der me there. Let's move on our way and hmm. If one must search through these rooms, I see you, you lying crest emblem things. But yeah. I... I didn't see anything that struck me as being related to three numbers, personally speaking. I can't speak Asian characters, and if I, I, mean, I guess there's some Asian decker going in here. I'm not going to try and claim what sort of region I think it's from, but yeah, I, Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Yeah, 420. She's like, there are some puzzles to solve. <laughs> My good old uncle is all, there's some puzzles you need to solve in this abode. 
Sweetie, of course the number is 420, because you know I'm blazing it. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> I, uh, there's nothing here. Little things. Maybe it's in the main lobby. I don't remember any details that were specifically pointed to three numbers, but who knows. To be fair, I didn't actually give this room a full thorough check in because I got distracted by the alarm. Stop doing that! <laughs> I feel like it's trying to at attract my attention. Sorry, I clicked out. To attract my attention to this alarm. But I don't know for what purpose. It's not 1020, I know that. Is it 210? Actually. No, that wouldn't make any sense. It's obviously the shorthand here. The second hand is related. <laughs> the three numbers in the row of locked doors in this house. Oh my. That's a nice picture. Actually, I think that was also in Pineview Drive. I, I recall that picture for some reason. I don't think guessing, if we're just gonna guess random numbers, then we could just sit there and literally guess all 999 combinations. One of them is gonna be right eventually. Hopefully. I'd like to assume that there's a bigger clue here. The clocks still move. How many days have I been to this house according to how the clock is ticking, though? Hmm. All I have in my possession is matches, so there's no way this door is opened up yet. I have not the foggiest clue. I'm sorry, Uncle. I have failed to be a good hare. I literally cannot solve your first puzzle. I don't know what the big hubbugaloo is here. Well, I would light something if there. I don't want to waste all my matches right now for good reason. I know what the matches are for based off what they're for in my view drive. <laughs> Again. I feel like, because I haven't spotted anything in any of the other rooms, that's related to something in one of these two rooms. Given, I don't specifically know what. Is it like how there's three stacks of books here? Do you notice that? So it'd be like three, three, four. I feel like that's not it, but that's. The, Thing with threes in it. Can't even read that. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Two fifty. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and guess everyone. 102? No. No. Alright, well. Hmm. I'm gonna look down, I'm gonna look up. So those are usually the things that gamers will not look at intuitively. They will not look down. They will not look up. Gamers, by nature, just because we generally in real life don't look up and down as often, still that we want to look ahead. Hmm. Sound like ropes. I've come to recognize the sound of ropes very much so because I've had to work with a lot of new sounds. Or close your eyes, fine. <clears throat> what is the passcode, woman? I mean, it could be related to number of certain reoccurring paintings in this house, but I, I don't even know where the order for that would go. Hmm. 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 Put my head here. I'm gonna solve your goddamn puzzles, Uncle. There might be a date written somewhere. It could be a date, like... Yes! Alarm. I feel like the alarm keeping going off is like a hint. 
But then the clock doesn't really provide anything. There is a seconds hand, and a minute hand, and this. The hours hand is pointed at 10. The minutes hand is also pointed at 10, actually, come to think of it, because that would be 10. But then the seconds hand is pointed at 26, which actually is my lucky number. Hmm, would it be 126? Because unless, of course, but then again, 10 doesn't fit well on the night first thing you flash it, I am very acutely aware. Well, through there. Well, since both the big and small hand both point to 10 to when I've already tried 250. <clears throat> Just notice that was about the door there. I feel like the clue isn't in this room either because I got the key from here. I would think there might be, some rooms might be reoccurring in their usefulness, but I would think that more rooms would be more reoccurrently helpful. There's like literally only so much that I can look at in this uh, room area. And the alarm goes off literally every time I enter inside that room. So it's obviously probably, I'm going to enter the room right now, it's going to go off again. We all know it. God damn you alarm. But it goes off pretty often. So is there a clue here? We're going to try every combination of 10 to... One, two, six is what I'm gonna try. 26 is my lucky number, so. Roll, roll from there. No. <clears throat> One, zero, two. Two, uh, five, one. The only problem is ten. It could be like two, five, one. That wouldn't make any sense. I'm semi tempted just to sit here and guess numbers, but if we don't solve this puzzle, we don't live up to our uncle's legacy. There's literally, I mean, is it the coordinates of something? It's not any of these books, that's for certain. Or I tried the book number guessing. Hmm. I don't think just guessing random numbers is going to do it. Unless, of course, we literally sat here and guessed every number, so. Open you up, my good old door, sir. Okay, I'm gonna look to the main hall one more time. Because I don't the want. Candlesticks are arranged in a peculiar way. There come. Right, if you take too long, I have it turned on so the game will give me a hint. Right, there's three candlesticks. I should have picked up on this. Uh... But now, to figure out how they're in a peculiar way. Because I very much doubt the answer is 444. Four, four. There's probably a second half to this. Turn them off. So, first of all, let me get some more matches. Let's move over here. Uh, 
Yeah. I'd be very surprised if the combination just four four four. <laughs> Let's give it a try though. Then I'm gonna look more seriously if it's not it. Yeah, I think that was. There's probably a deeper meaning to the candles, so let's look. Eh. My first thought would be like an angle like this. Well, they are pointed different directions. What am I supposed to pick up? See that, of course, the fact. Let me turn the lights off. Maybe that'll help. Oh. Six one eight. Oh, you can actually kind of see them. Well, okay. Move from up there. I could have guessed that. Let's see. 618. Duh. There's my flashlight. Press the F or left mouse button to flash it on and off. I'm not going to waste its battery. If you are reading this letter, then you have already solved the first puzzle. The key in the safe will let you into the next part of the house. Yep. Yeah. No guy, okay, I need to tell you guys something.